4.80 meters long beam is subjected to the forces shown reduce the given system of forces to an equivalent force system at a an equivalent force couple system at b and a single force or resultant reaction forces are not considered meaning our problem does not consider the reaction forces caused by the pin and the roller so what is asked in letter a an equivalent force couple system at a meaning we treat point a as our reference point and get the moment now the formula for moment is moment is equals to force times distance. This distance is the perpendicular distance of the force, meaning at point A, neglect this force since we are using point A as reference. So the next force would be 600 newtons times the perpendicular distance of that force which is 1.6 meters. Before everything, let's come up with assumptions papala. First, let's assume that our moment at point A is positive if it goes counterclockwise so again 600 times 1.6 since 600 newtons is pointed downwards its assumption for the rotation of the entire beam would be counterclockwise meaning this would be negative the next force is the 100 newtons this upward force could cause the beam to rotate in a counterclockwise direction meaning positive shall based on our assumption so next would be 100 times our perpendicular distance from a which is 1.6 plus 1.2 that would be 2.8 and lastly this force is pointed downwards it would cause a rotation of clockwise using a as reference point meaning that would be against our assumption so that would be negative times our perpendicular distance from a which is the total distance of the beam which is 4.8 therefore our moment at point a is equals to negative 1880 newton meter this negative sign indicates that our assumption is incorrect, meaning it would be opposite our assumption. So the moment at point A is 1880 newton meters clockwise. So question letter B, an equivalent force couple system at B, meaning the moment at point B. Let's again assume that the moment at point B is positive counterclockwise. So since point B is our reference point, neglect these 250 newtons so the next force would be the upwards 100 newtons this upward 100 newtons would cause the entire beam to rotate clockwise meaning that would be negative our assumption so that would be negative 100 times the perpendicular distance of this force which is 2 meters the next force would be the 600 newtons and this would again cause the beam to rotate in a counterclockwise manner which is the same as our assumption so that would be positive 600 times our perpendicular distance which is 2 plus 1.2 that would be 2.2 and our next force would be 150 newtons which would cause the entire beam to rotate in a clockwise manner and that is opposite our assumption so that would be negative 150 newton times the total distance of our beam which is 4.8 our moment at point B Correction, 2 plus 1.2 is 3.2, so that would be 1,000 newton meters. And since our result is positive, that would mean that our assumption is correct, so this is counterclockwise. So our moment, therefore, at point A is clockwise, and our moment at point B is counterclockwise. So in part C, we are tasked to get the single force or the resultant. So to get the summation of forces, that would mean to add all the forces. Since 150 newtons is pointed upwards, that would mean that that is positive 150. Since 600 is pointed downwards, that would mean negative 600. Since 100 is pointed upwards, that would mean that's positive 100 and negative 250 since it's pointed downwards. So add everything, that would be the J component since we are treating every force as if it's in the Y direction so our summation of forces would be negative 600 J that would be our resultant Y component since we're looking for the resultant our resultant R is the square root of the components added and each component is squared so since our component here is only 600 that would be negative 600 squared cancel this our R is there for 600 so now since we have the resultant of the forces, the question would be where would this resultant be? So let's use our A as our reference point. So moment at point A is equals to force times distance and in this case our force is the R which is the resultant of the forces times the distance. 
our moment at A is 1880. This negative sign does not matter since that indicates direction. So 1880 is equal to our R which is 600 times D. And now basic algebra that would be that would mean that our D is equal to 3.13 meters from point A. And that would be our final answer for letter C. So our R would be located somewhere here. Since it's 3.13 meters away from A. And that would be equal to 600. So that's it.